You know, 2020 was a crazy time, bro. Like, do you realize we may never again see a time where every corner of our society is just going ballistic at the same time? Like, let's reevaluate. We had people trying to fight systemic oppression. COVID was putting in the hospital. Celebrities were just dropping like flies. If you wanted to chill with friends or family, you'd have to do it on group FaceTime or Zoom. And at one point, people were also fighting over toilet paper. Yeah. You know, the list just goes on and on. 2020 was an interesting time to be alive. But let's not forget a very vital event of 2020. A canon event, if you will. Okay, uh, I didn't expect that sound effect. But this same year, Popeyes decided to say, Hmm, how can we demolish the black community and make them look like the chicken-loving monkeys they are? Yeah, that's right. 2020 birthed the creation of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Now, if you don't remember, or you just weren't paying attention, when Popeye's created the chicken sandwich, people were, <coughs> sorry, niggas were going insane, just feeding to get their hands on it. Like, bro, the way niggas were acting for this sandwich, you would've thought they put crack in the batter or something. Like, I remember every day after the sandwich came out, the news would just report a assault or aggravated crime that would happen at a Popeye's establishment, whether it was between customers or with the customers and the employees. And bro, I know for a fact those underpaid Popeye's workers probably witnessed some shit when this sandwich came out. Like, there was actually somebody who got murdered because he skipped a n in line who was waiting for this sandwich. Now, I can go on and on explaining to y'all how crazy of a chokehold Popeyes had the black community in, but I'm telling you all this because this animated story is about a time where I had to physically experience the consequences along with the violent niggatry that came with getting the Popeyes chicken sandwich. So one day back in 2020, when all this mayhem was happening, I was just chilling, you know? I don't remember what I was doing. Could have been working on an animation. Could have been watching the hub. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, you know? But my dad calls me and he's saying he got his hands on a Popeye's chicken sandwich and if I wanted one. Now, I saw the news and the vids plus memes on social media where niggas were losing their minds over this sandwich. But what really made me want to get it was the photos of the Popeye's workers on their breaks. Now, I know this sounds like an odd reason to want to try it, but at the time, it just intrigued me how a demand for a sandwich was able to create this much visible distress for a person like i guarantee you your favorite athlete never reached this level of fatigue so i was thinking if a sandwich is able to stress a n out this bad it has to slap so i of course told my pops to give me the sandwich and fast forward a few hours later my dad brings me the sandwich and <laughs> i devoured that whole absolutely eviscerated that sandwich and it was actually like pretty good like i wouldn't kill a nigga for it obviously but you know what i'm saying i'd have it again so i was just chilling after eating this sandwich you know and my older brother trevor who was home at the time came into my room and he was like hey bro you was that the popeye's chicken sandwich yeah bro it was like pretty good they might have it over chick-fil-a but i would never so you was just gonna get a popeye's chicken sandwich and not save any for your brother uh yeah what you heard me nigga? <laughs> hey man you know what it is uh Does it look like i'm laughing now? so at first i was thinking he was trolling right or just joking around but by his tone it's like this nigga is mad at me so i'm like hey bro i didn't even order this dad asked if i wanted the sandwich and he just picked one up for me so what i'm hearing is you heard pops was getting a popeye's chicken sandwich and you ain't think about your older brother nigga so now I'm pretty f***ing confused because I missed the part of how it's my fault that our father only got me the sandwich. Like, take it up with that nigga, not me. I didn't buy this. Now, for some context, I was 16 at the time, and my brother was 30. Like, while I was still going through puberty and shit, being 5'8", 140 pounds with close to no muscle on me, my brother was a grown-ass man who was 6'3", 200-something pounds, and was built like a brick. This is a grown ass n that I do not want to fuck with. So I realized that my brother actually looks heated, like his fists are bald and he's standing over me menacingly with this rage in his eyes. So I say, look, I didn't even know you was here, bro. I thought you was at your apartment. Listen, if I knew you was here- Nah, I it don't matter. We supposed to look out for each other. I thought we was family, nigga. 
Listen, man, I'm, I'm sorry, but we ain't any less family because I ain't tell dad to pick nah, you up. Nah, nah, now you bullshit. Bro, bro, chill. Like, listen to yourself. You bugging right now. Like, it's a chicken sandwich. Now, me and my older brother have had our fair share of fights and arguments, you know? Who hasn't had at least a few with their sibling? But at this point in our relationship, we have never argued about something so petty and nigga like you know and my brother and i are both educated rationally thinking black men so i'm not thinking that this little dispute we're having right now which i'm still fucking confused of why we're having it in the first place because again i didn't buy this but i'm not thinking that this is going to go beyond a vocal disagreement you know and for a second i thought i was right because after i told him he was bugging trevor looked at me and said you know what you right bro he puts his hand out to dab me up and as I reach for it, this nigga punches me right in my gut. And believe me when I tell you that absolutely nothing could have prepared me for the fresh hot plate of ass whooping that this nigga proceeded to hand me. This Negro goes on to hit me with the wildest combos imaginable. Like within the span of two seconds, he slapped me, hit me with a liver shot, picked me up, slammed me. And then I think at one point he might've hit me with a Hadouken too. Like bro, he pulled things out of his arsenal. I've never seen any man do. He was f***ing me up so bad. I had no time to beg for mercy. I had to, I had to do something quick. So I dodged one of his hits and punched him with everything I had in his chest. And I thought I got him. And then <laughs> he doesn't even say anything. He just starts <laughs> laughing. Then this nigga starts to beat my ass even worse, yo. And this MMA style ass whooping didn't even end until he put me in a full Nelson. Like my feet were dangling in the air and shit. And he was like, so what we learn today? Hmm. Mind you, he's asking me this as he's choking me. You gonna be caring and more considerate to your brother, right? Yes. You gonna get him a sandwich next time the opportunity arises, right? Uh, yes. I can't hear you, nigga. Yes. Then he just drops my body on the floor and walks away. And as he's leaving, he turns, looks at me and says, Don't let this shit happen ever again, bro. Yeah, bro. Without a doubt, I got bitch that day. I never got my get back and I probably never will. So yeah, man. That's the story. Takeaway of this story. Sometimes, no matter how smart you and your siblings think you are, when it comes to food, some bullshit is bound to happen. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for watching another video by yours truly. I want to start this end card off by thanking TK for hopping on his vid to do the voiceovers for my brother. I really do appreciate that. And I am so so grateful i'm gonna leave his twitch his youtube and all that in the description below if y'all got any stories about sibling fights leave them in the comments below i'm gonna be reading and replying to all of them next video dropping in a week the longest 10 days i promise you and lastly y'all know my animations is fire so subscribe like them and share easiest way to share is going on my ig and putting my most recent reel on your story or sharing one of my tiktoks to a friend either one of those you would be helping a nigga out O D. And if you don't think my animations is fire, leave a comment on what I should improve on. You know what I'm saying? And until next time, I love you all.